I started out my career doing architectural illustration for a living. I did that for about 15 years before I transitioned to fine art full time. Um, and I've been primarily focused on the landscape ever since. Uh, that's kind of where my heart is, and where it's been all along. I grew up in the Midwest in Kansas City. And in 2018, I moved to Rockport, Massachusetts, which is a charming, charming little New England town that sits out on the tip of Cape Ann, right on the ocean. Uh, about a year after that, I opened my own art gallery right on Main Street with uh, my little dog, Charlie, as the door greeter every day. Living next to the ocean has really opened up a whole new world of subject matter for me. I am just enthralled with painting the ocean. Crashing waves and water cascading over the rocks is just endlessly fascinating. When I lived in the Midwest, I was focused a lot on painting the prairie and the landscape of the American West. I traveled quite out west quite a bit to do that. And as much as I'm loving painting the ocean, that, that Western subject matter still really resonates with me. I relish every chance I get to travel West and paint still. I paint in both watercolor and oil. Uh, they are two mediums that require almost completely opposite methods of working. Watercolor is transparent and fluid. Oil is thick and gooey and textural. Um, and I really find, though, that going back and forth between the two medium sparks a lot of new ideas and approaches about how to do a painting. It's almost like there's a conversation going on between the paintings as I'm working, going back and forth and really re-looking at how I do what I do. The thing I love about plein air painting is really that it gives an artist the chance to connect with the world around you in just a completely unique way. When you're painting on plein air, you are basically standing in stillness, usually for two or three hours at a stretch, and just intensely observing whatever's in front of you. The light, the atmosphere, the wind, or the stillness, Sometimes bird song or crickets, all of that seeps into your consciousness as you're working and it really becomes part of the painting. I feel so fortunate to have a career that allows me to travel to all these wonderful, amazing places to paint and then turn around and come home to another wonderful, amazing place that constantly nurtures and inspires me.